In the evening, farm boy Travis deliberately hangs a ham very low, as long as this stray dog dares to eat it, then he will have a reason to kill this bad dog. It looks like he really hates the dog. Welcome to Movie Ape Channel, today I will bring you an adventure and drama movie, Old Yeller. In the morning, Travis is working in the corn field, while a stray dog is chasing a rabbit. The agile rabbit runs underneath the mule and the stray dog follows suit. The frightened mule immediately runs away, it drags down Travis and destroys a lot of crops. When the stray dog sees the frightened mule he seems to realize that he has made a mistake, so he tries to get the mule back. But it frightens the mule even more, and the mule destroys a lot of fences. After a while, the stray dog comes back, as if to apologize for what it just did. As the crops and fences were damaged, Travis is very angry, so he picks up stones and throws them at the troublemaker. At dinner, when Travis' little brother Arliss learns about it, he is eager to adopt the dog. Because Arliss loves animals, he would even hide all kinds of small animals in his pocket to sneak home, lizards, frogs, and even snakes. It makes their mom Katie very worried. In the morning, Travis notices that a hanging ham is missing and the stray dog is lying in front of their house at the moment. Travis thinks it was the dog that stole the ham, so he picks up a stick and tries to beat it, but then Arliss comes out to stop him. The two brothers are about to fight, but they are stopped by their mother. Knowing how much Arliss loves the old yellow dog, their mother decides to adopt it, and gives it the name Old Yeller. But Travis is not happy. In the evening, Travis deliberately hangs a ham low, so that if Old Yeller dares to eat or steal this ham, then he will have a reason to kill him. The next morning, Travis picks up his shotgun and walks out, but sees the ham still hanging there, untouched. Old Yeller didn't steal the ham, instead, he helped him guard the ham overnight. Travis begins to wonder if he has been wrong about the dog. At noon, Travis and his mother are doing farm work. Meanwhile, Arliss has somehow captured a black bear cub outside the farm, unaware that this is a very dangerous act. Soon, the cub's growling attracts the mother bear, who is rapidly approaching Arliss. To protect his little brother, Travis grabs an axe and rushes over without hesitation. Suddenly, Old Yeller pounces on the big black bear before Travis arrives. He is completely fearless, even though the black bear is three times his size. His bravery and loyalty earn Travis respect. And the black bear, who has never faced such a fearless opponent, stands up and flees. Katie brings her son Arliss back to the house and finally puts her mind at ease. Old Yeller follows them back to the house, and the family gathers around Old Yeller and appreciates him very much. Obviously, Travis has fallen in love with the dog. At night, Old Yeller sticks his head inside, as if complaining that he is too lonely outside. Travis gives Old Yeller a hand signal, and he quickly comes to bed and lies quietly between the two brothers. At noon, Katie tells Travis that a cow is missing. So Travis and Old Yeller go to the hills to look for the cow, but they don't know the exact location of the cow yet. Travis comes up with an idea. He pushes a rock off a cliff to make some noise, which will scare the cow and reveal her location, and it works. The frightened cow makes a mooing sound, and Travis rushes over with Old Yeller. As expected, the cow is hiding here and has given birth to a calf. So Old Yeller rushes forward to distract the cow's attention, while Travis goes around the back to carry the calf away. But Travis is discovered by the cow, the cow is angry and she starts to attack Travis. Travis immediately runs away, but he accidentally falls to the ground. At the critical moment, Old Yeller rushes over and pounces on the cow. The cow gets up and fights back, only to be knocked to the ground again by Old Yeller. The cow gets up again, but she realizes that she is no match for Old Yeller and she surrenders. Travis walks past the cow with a smug look on his face, then carries the calf on his shoulders and tells Old Yeller to drive the cow home. Back at the farm, the cow is still grumpy and she tries to break free from the ropes. Travis tries to milk the cow but is kicked away. So Travis has to get Old Yeller to help. Old Yeller calmly walks towards the cow, like a general inspecting his soldier. The cow instantly quiets down and stands still obediently. Now Travis can get the milk without any problem, and he realizes that he has begun to rely on Old Yeller. On this day, Travis takes Old Yeller on a hunting trip. Soon, they discover a group of hogs near a puddle. Following Travis' instruction, Old Yeller immediately charges toward the hogs. The frightened hogs try to escape but are forced to a corner by Old Yeller. Under the threat of Old Yeller, the hogs are not dared to move. Old Yeller then turns to Travis and barks at him, signaling Travis to take action. Then Travis throws down the rope and catches one of the hogs, unexpectedly, the hog is very strong and drags him down from the tree. When the hog sees that its enemy is right next to it, it attacks Travis and bites his leg hard, it will not let go. Travis is no match for the hog, so he shouts to Old Yeller for help. Old Yeller breaks through the siege and bites the hog, and the hog finally let go of his mouth. Travis takes the opportunity to escape, he hides behind the rocks and then uses a scarf to bandage his wound. 
Suddenly, he hears a scream, Travis calls out to Old Yeller, but he gets no response. He anxiously runs back and finds Old Yeller covered in bruises, lying on the ground and unable to move. Travis burst into tears, he blames himself. Then he takes off his shirt and uses it to stop Old Yeller's bleeding. To prevent the hogs from attacking Old Yeller again, Travis tells Old Yeller to temporarily hide inside this cave. Old Yeller struggles to crawl towards the cave, moaning in pain with every step he takes. Travis needs to go home to get help from his mother. He promises Old Yeller that he will come back to save him, then he covers the entrance of the cave with a log. Then he quickly runs in the direction of their farm. Back at the farm, Travis tells his mother everything. Katie is worried about Travis's injuries, so she orders him to stay home and plans to go rescue Old Yeller alone. But Travis says that Old Yeller was hurt because of him and he has to go with her. Katie knows her son very well, and she agrees. The family soon arrives at their destination, and at the moment the area around the cave is filled with vultures. Fortunately, Travis left the cave with the entrance covered, otherwise Old Yeller would have become the food of these vultures. Katie removes the log and unties the shirt on Old Yeller's body, the injury is worse than she expected. She asks Travis to pluck a hair from the mule's tail, which she will use as a thread to stitch up Old Yeller's wound. Old Yeller doesn't move around, he endures the pain and cooperates with Katie. Later, Katie asks Travis to make a stretcher, they need to take Old Yeller home. After the stretcher is made, they set off home together. When they get home, Old Yeller quietly lies next to Travis and recovers with him. Few weeks later, Travis and Old Yeller both recovered and they are out for a walk outside the house. Just then, a cow stumbles over, foams at the mouth, and then falls to the ground. Katie says that there is a pack of wolves nearby infected with rabies. From the cow's behavior, we can tell that she is suffering from rabies, and she may have been bitten by the wolves. At this point, the cow has lost her mind and may launch an attack on humans at any time. Travis has no choice but to take out his shotgun and end the cow's life. At night, Katie takes the cow's carcass outside the farm to burn it, so as to prevent the spread of the disease. At the moment Old Yeller is guarding Katie, while Travis is staying inside the house with Arliss. Suddenly, Katie screams for help. When Travis hears it, he grabs his shotgun and quickly rushes over. It turns out that the scent of cow meat has attracted a hungry wolf. To protect Katie, Old Yeller is fighting against the wolf, and the two sides are evenly matched. Travis raises his shotgun and aims, but Old Yeller and the wolf are too close to each other and he hesitates to fire. Old Yeller is losing and is pounced on by the wolf. Travis sees the situation and shoots the wolf without hesitation, and both Old Yeller and the wolf are instantly quiet. And just then Old Yeller slowly gets up and limps over to Travis. Travis smiles, he is proud of his dog. But Katie suddenly realizes something and looks nervously at the dog. She suspects that the wolf has been infected with rabies, as only an animal that has lost its mind would come near the fire. And since Old Yeller was bitten by the wolf, he may be also infected. Katie thinks they have to kill Old Yeller, even though she is unwilling to do so. Keeping Old Yeller would only bring danger to the family. But Travis is adamantly against it, Old Yeller has saved all their lives, he is family. At last, they decide to lock Old Yeller up for some time to see if he is really infected. Two weeks later, Travis and his mom open the door together and they find the dog in great shape. Travis tells his mom that maybe they were overthinking it and they should let the dog out. Katie says that the longest incubation period for rabies is one month, so it's better to wait another two weeks just to be safe. Time flies and on the last night, Travis cuts off a large piece of ham to reward Old Yeller. But when Travis opens the door, he finds that Old Yeller seems to have turned into another dog, showing his teeth and even making an aggressive posture. But Travis doesn't want to believe this is real, he continues to put the meat in front of the dog and tells him to eat it. Travis still believes that Old Yeller will be okay, he closes the door and then walks towards the house. Katie asks Travis how the dog is doing, and Travis tries to hide it for the dog, telling her that Old Yeller is fine. But mom sees right away that he's lying, and Travis adds that anyone who spends a long time in a confined space can get a little grumpy. Arliss sneaks out and tries to let the dog out of the hut. He happens to be discovered by his mother, who is terrified and tells him not to open the door, but Arliss won't listen. Travis sees the situation and tries to stop his brother. At the critical moment, Katie holds the door just in time as Old Yeller inside growls frantically. Travis looks at the dog, who no longer recognizes him, and he cries with sadness. Katie brings a shotgun and tells Travis that there is no hope for the dog to recover, and that she has to do it for the safety of the family. Travis says, he's my dog, I know he's suffering, let me do it. So Travis holds the shotgun and reluctantly aims it at Old Yeller. Old Yeller was the guardian angel of the family, but Travis has no choice. He ends the dog's life, and this is a relief for the dog. In the end, Travis buries Old Yeller in the place where they first met. He will never forget the joys and companionship that Old Yeller brought to his family.